Okay, so today I'm gonna to give you an example of how to build a AI persona using Keymate Memory. So I'm gonna write out a prompt, basically walks through a tagging and cataloging process for building out the memory information that you would need in order to build your persona. So I'm gonna write out, you're an expert at tagging and cataloging information, you're going to train yourself on how to create the persona, and I'm gonna write out a bunch of information on what I want the information to have in my Keymate memory. So background, likes and interests, relationships, job, etc., etc. I'm gonna write, I want you to turn this into an easy to recall tag system. The tag system should always tie to the persona. For example, for persona background, the tag should be persona name dash background. And then for any deeper level of background, it should be persona name dash background dash family history. The purpose of this is so that the tag system will always point back to the specific persona name and that way I could create multiple personas within my Keymate memory um, with different background information, likes, etc. So I'm adding an example text and then I'm going to mention, remind it to take its time for each step of the process. Um, and I'm not going to go through the entire process of creating uh, a persona for every single piece. Um, I'm just going to show you an example of it um, that you can then do the rest of it yourself using this prompt, which I will share in the uh, description section for the video. So here it is now telling me kind of how it's going to guide me through it, with examples of what it will ask, and the suggested tagging system. Everything looks good. Um, and so let's start with um, some uh, the name of the persona first. So the name of the persona is Philip. It's my name. And then let's just skip ahead to a section I haven't worked on so I can show you how it works. So we'll do um, specific interests and we'll create tags for uh, board games. I, I'm a big fan of playing board games and I have uh, no section in my keynote memory currently about board games, so I'll have to add that in right now. So it gave me a bunch of different uh, subsections, names, genres, play frequency, play group. I think that looks great. So I'm gonna say yes, this works, and let's go through each step by step. And now it's giving me suggestions for what to fill in. So it's saying, oh, you should like Settlers of Catan, Ticket to Ride. Um, and I'm actually just going to give it some games that I do like, although I do like a lot of the games that it suggested, so nice job. So I'm going to ask it to update it with my specific interests. Terraforming Mars, Everdell, Wingspan, Arc Nova. Yeah, Ticket to Ride's good. I also really like Boggle and Carcassonne. That's good as well. Okay, and then I'm going to um, update the genres. It gave me some genre guesses based off of the games I said I liked, sure, but I'll just add in some that I know I like. Okay, and then we'll just speed ahead here, finish filling everything else in, and then I'm going to add it to my Keymate memory following the exact tag forming formatting. Do not summarize and add everything exactly to my Keymate memory as is. The reason I wrote it like that is because oftentimes it will make a summary or uh, modify some of what it puts into the memory. So we're going to double check to see if it put things in correctly in the way that I would want it to. So I just went to the Ultimate Web App platform. That's where you would go to check your Keymate memory. You don't have to have an Ultimate Web App account in order to have a memory. Any paid account has access to memory. So you just log in and then click Explore Keymate Memory. And what it's going to do is it's going to pull up an interface that allows you to look through the different records within the memory. And it has this interesting little graph with all the data points. Those, each little dot is a record from your memory. And down here are some of the records. You can see I've already added a bunch of information about my persona. So we're just going to search for the board games, which I just added. And if you click Knowledge Base Search, it should update and then show you the most similar records to that search. And here's the one I added. And you can see it's a different format um, than the other records below. Um, it has all the information, but it definitely 
updated the format in a different way. This is the format that was used when I was doing this earlier, putting in all of the persona information of my likes, writing style, family background, etc. And um, I'm going to update the format slightly. So the way that you do that is you can actually click on any record um, on the right side and update the format of the record. So I'm just going to do that over here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the record entirely and I'm going to tell it to change the format to make it more similar. So let's try it that way instead. So I'm going to write out um, a, a, a sample of how I'd like it to format in my memory. I want to show you doing it this way because you can actually do a lot of work just giving it um, examples uh, like a template of the formatting that you want when you're saving into the memory. So here I am writing out very similar format to the other records in my Kimit memory and let's see if it follows suit. All right. So this time it looks like it did a much better job at following a very similar format to the other records and we can go ahead and double check it now. Search board games again, click knowledge base search, should update the records and yeah that's much better. It's much closer to the previous formatting. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but the more similar your formatting is for each of your records, the easier it will be to recall information when we're working with the persona. So I'm going to show you one more example, which is um, how I added in my job and resume information into my Keymate memory. So I asked it to move on to the job section, and then I'm going to say I'd like to load in my resume as a separate uh, section. So let's do that first. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull up my resume and I'm just going to do Command A or Control A and then copy and paste all the text from the PDF instead of uploading it um, just to simplify the process. So I just grabbed it and that's what I'm going to write here is my resume. Please split it up into similar format as above with the different tags for the various sections. So I just pasted the resume and here it is. Now it's updated the format to what I had requested previously which is great. Um, and it's pulling in the current position and a few different previous positions uh, which is good. But it, um, let's see, it didn't pull in any other information so I'm going to actually tell it to do that. I'm going to tell it to load in the different sections. Basically it just didn't go as far as it could have with the copy and pasted text. So I'm actually looking at the headers on the resume and telling it to make sure to create sections for each of the headers from the resume. And here it is now with each of the individual headers and the information from those sections, which is great. And now I'm going to have it combine all of that, including the job experience. And that's why I added that fill up resume rest of tag. So I wanted to make sure it actually added resume in the tagging so that I could look it up based off of that specific tag, philip-resume. So it's loaded in all of the information about my resume and now I'm going to have it save that into my Keymate memory. So please add it in the exact same way that you added the last information. So I'm trying to make sure that it does the same formatting. Um, so I'll update that to formatting. And then it's going to take all of that text. It should take all of that text. Uh, just got to confirm it and load it into the Keymate memory. So it says it's been added. Let's double check and see. Okay, so I will refresh and then 
just type in resume and yep looks like it's there and you can see my previous load which is a slightly different format but both formats work well um, I think that those are pretty good so that's an example of how to load in the resume and there's other things in here that I've added to my persona like job I've added in writing samples for my writing styles so I can ask it to write in a similar form based off of a certain writing style I did professional and personal and social where I just copied and pasted uh, LinkedIn post and copied and pasted samples from my emails um, and I've added in a bunch of other things and I can modify anything just by clicking the that uh, little button there and I can also delete any record um, you know but um, here's like an example of all the likes and interests that I've added to my keymate memory for this persona uh, there's a bunch of stuff and there's the stuff around the board games. So you'll be able to create these different records based off of the persona using this prompt. So I can say like, now let's walk through every aspect to create my persona. And then it's going to go back to the beginning and walk through all those different aspects. I'm not gonna do them all right here. I did them earlier so I could show you kind of different things you can do once you have a fully loaded persona, but you can create an unlimited uh, memory of a persona with all different kinds of likes and styles and interests um, for your own AI assistant. Next, I'm gonna show you the prompt I used in order to engage with this AI persona.